Hello! Welcome to our first video on popular functions within Microsoft Excel. Today we're going to tackle the IF function, which is really valuable for executing a wide variety of complex functions within the program. Essentially, employing the IF command allows you to program a conditional function into Excel. If the condition is true, you'll get one value returned in the cell, and you'll get a different value returned if the condition is false instead. If you've ever done any programming, you would be very familiar with these types of functions that employ a logic system to decide how they need to operate. So let's take a look at the basic breakdown of if. Once you start the function, you're going to need to enter three values into parentheses. The first is going to be the condition. This means that this is the value that needs to be true or not, and its status is what will determine what value is returned. Next, in brackets, you're going to enter the value that should be returned from the cell if the condition is met, followed by a comma, followed by the value that you want returned if the condition is false. Then you can close the parentheses. So let's look at a simple version of how this works here. I'm going to start the command and then put a condition here. So I'm going to say if the value of cell A1 is greater than 50, I want to return the value pass. And if it's less than 50, I want it to say fail. Then I could simply drag this formula down and have a pass fail value indicated based on the number in the A column. You can also use other commands to expand the functioning of the if command. For instance, you can use AND to create a set of conditions which must both be met in order for the true value to be returned, like this. Another alternative is that you can insert an OR command inside of the IF function. So in this case here, the value for a true condition will be met if either of these requirements are met, like this. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions about how to put the IF command to work for you, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.